Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the low platelets and its signs and symptoms. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. As we are going to talk about thrombocytopenia or low platelets count in today's video, we should first have information about platelets. These small cells are one of the several parts of the circulatory system which exist in the bloodstream. They affix themselves to the wall of the blood vessels which have an injury to prevent bleeding. Platelets are designed for clotting, they clump together to stop bleeding. Thrombocytopenia is a condition in which there is low platelet count in the blood, so this condition will affect the body's ability to make clots and stop bleeding at the site of a cut or a wound. Platelets count can be analyzed with a blood test known as complete blood count or CBC test. A normal amount of platelets is between 150,000 to 450,000 per microliter of blood. Low platelets count is considered when the numbers are below 150,000. Mild bleeding risk occurs when the body has 50,000 platelets and serious conditions are when the count of platelets drops to 10,000 to 20,000 per microliter. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Causes of low platelets count. In some rare cases, this disease is inherited which means it passed from parent to child. But in many cases, there are other factors that cause this health issue. Alcoholism. Alcohol consumption decreases the amount of platelet production in the bone marrow. Chemotherapy. There is the tissue inside the bones which makes platelets named bone marrow. This tissue may be damaged by some types of cancer medications like chemotherapy, but the good news is that this process will be usually temporary. Radiation therapy. If someone has radiation and chemotherapy at the same time, it may cause some damage to the platelets counts. Radiation therapy may damage your bone marrow if you receive a large amount of radiotherapy, especially to your pelvis. Antibodies. Antibodies are a special kind of protein in our body that fights against damages from the outside. They destroy any substances that may harm the body, but sometimes these antibodies wrongly destroy the healthy platelets. Some cancers. Some specific types of cancers may lower the platelets count such as leukemia or lymphoma. The abnormal cells which are made by the cancer cells destroy healthy cells in the bone marrow, the place platelets are produced. Less common causes can include the types of cancers which spread to the bone tissues, or cancer in the spleen, etc. Some medications. Exposure to treat bacterial infections or seizures. Special diseases. Some diseases and viruses such as hepatitis C and HIV. Types of thrombocytopenia. Low platelets count has three main classes which are. Platelet destruction such as autoantibody attaches to the platelet surface. Platelet sequestration is a condition caused by a large spleen or with liver disease. Decreased platelets production that occurs with bone marrow diseases. Low platelets count symptoms. Some people with mild cases of this disease may not notice the symptoms. The first sign that everyone with this issue will experience is a nosebleed which won't stop bleeding. Other signs also may include are Prolonged and excessive bleeding, even from minor cuts Easy bruising called purpura Appearing of some small reddish spots on the skin that can be everywhere on your body, this is called petechiae Frequent bleeding from nose or bleeding from mouth or gum while you are brushing your teeth Joint pain particularly large joints such as hips joint Blood in urine, vomit, or bowel movements Unusual heavy menstrual periods Rectal bleeding Feeling dizzy or weak Heavy headaches and confusion Having blood when you cough Difficult breathing How to manage thrombocytopenia There are many steps to avoid complications that are caused by this health issue, and if you are suffering from a low platelet count you can decrease the risk of bleeding with these tips. Avoid using medicines that contain aspirin, anti-inflammation such as ibuprofen, blood thinners, unless your doctor recommends. Use electric razors to shave to prevent any possible cuts or nicks. Have extra care while you are working with sharp objects like knives or scissors, do anything to avoid accidental cuts even minor cuts. Use an extra soft toothbrush to reduce the risk of mouth or gum bleeding. 
avoid drinking alcohol. As you may know, alcohol has very detrimental effects on many parts of the body. There is a video on our channel which discusses the side effects of drinking alcohol in detail. If you are interested you can check it out. As well as all the negative effects of alcohol abuse, it also slows down the production of platelets. Decrease your contact with any toxic substances such as chemical substances. Consume vitamin B12 and folic acid, because deficiency in these two causes low platelets production in the bone marrow. Tips for stopping the bleeding. In mild cases, it may not be a serious problem, but in severe cases, bleeding will stop very difficult. If bleeding is a serious concern for you, you can follow these steps. First of all, you should try to keep calm and have a seat or lie down. Apply gentle pressure on the wound to help the vessel stop bleeding. Apply an ice pack to the place to slow down the process of bleeding. If you cut your hands or your arms, even your legs, elevate that to decrease bleeding. If you see blood in urine, be calm and report it to your doctor as soon as possible, but drinking a lot of fluids will help you a lot to deal with this problem. When you see blood in your vomit, take anti-nausea and stomach antacids and report to your doctor. Treatment. Low platelets count will be treated if the cause of it can be identified clearly. After treatment, your bone marrow will produce a normal amount of platelets. For those cases that are caused by some specific conditions like post-pregnancy or post-cancer treatment this problem will be treatable but the time of treatment is different from person to person. However, in some cases, a platelet transfusion may be warranted to prevent complications from bleeding. If this is required, you can expect to receive the platelets through an infusion into your vein. If an autoimmune condition is causing your thrombocytopenia, you may be prescribed an immune suppressant medication to help cease platelet destruction. If a reaction to another medication is causing your thrombocytopenia, you may be placed on a different medication by your prescribing physician. Low platelets are a common negative effect of blood cancer and its treatment. It could be a result of alcohol abuse, some medications, autoimmune diseases, pregnancy, and more. But the most common cause is cancer and cancer treatments. In these cases, it will be treatable, so there is no need to worry a lot. You just need to take care of yourself more than before and do your best to prevent bleeding until your treatment time will be done. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.